G'day. Here's a geometry problem for middle schoolers. Goes as follows. In the figure, this very complicated figure, the area of square WXYZ, WXYZ, uh, is 25 centimeters squared. Okay, that's 25 centimeters squared. The four smaller squares, four smaller squares, I guess these ones, one, two, three, four, yep. The four smaller squares have sides one centimeter long, and uh, the sides are either parallel to or coinciding with the sides of the large square. Hang on, what does that mean? Uh, the sides of the small squares either coincide or parallel to the sides of the big square. All right, so basically everything's horizontal and vertical, I guess. All right, I can handle that. Um, in triangle ABC, this question keeps going on and on, triangle ABC, there it is, ABC. Uh, AB equals AC, and we'll mark that. This length here is the same as that length there. All right. And when triangle ABC is folded over side BC, oh gosh, when the triangle is folded over side BC, like something like that, I guess, the point A, oh gosh, something we're getting lost, coincides with O, the center of the square. Okay, so my picture's a little bit off, but when I fold this length over here, it lands on A. I mean, A lands on O, sorry, like that. All right. Oh, that's the setup of the question. What's the actual question? Um, what is the area of triangle ABC in square centimeters? Oh, heavens. All right, okay. Well, obviously I'm having an emotional reaction right now. I'm feeling flummoxed by this question. There's a lot going on. Um, what I'm gonna do, so it's a very long involved question, a lot of uh, information uh, given to me. I'm gonna go through it one more time and actually mark the information a little more carefully. So I'm just gonna persevere my way through this question, which is strategy number seven, perseverance is key. All right, so. The big square, W, X, Y, Z, has area 25 centimeters squared. That means its side length must be five. So let me write five, 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 and five. Uh, I guess that means this is also five. I guess this is the only thing I can really mark if I wanted to. This is a bit complicated. I'll leave that as B for the moment. Um, the four small squares each have sides one centimeter long. Okay, one, 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 one. Eins, 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 uh, 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 if I change languages. Oh, okay, so this is good. So that's one and that's one. I can just see that's now three. Oh, cool. All right. Um, and the sides, the small squares, parallel and coincide and all that stuff. Okay, that's no new information. This triangle is isosceles. AB equals AC. Got that. And the only other thing I haven't used yet is that when I fold this triangle over, this point A lands on that point O. So I guess that means that this height of this triangle here has to be, well, my picture's really off, same as that length there. Do I know this length? Oh, I bet I do know this length. I feel like all the information there is to know that length, in which case I know the height of the triangle. And if I know the height of the triangle and I know its base, do I know its base? I think I do. I can then work out the end of that triangle. This is brilliant. Just tracking through all that information has made everything fall into place. I think this question's gonna work out. All right, so I'm going to invite you to finish off this question. Get me the area of triangle ABC, and when you get the answer, compare your answer with my results in the essay that goes with this video. There's actually something else going on with this question, which is kind of cool. This is all good stuff. All right, thanks so much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.